I'm home. There are many customs which the sacred book of Dinosaur commands us to obey. But none is as important as the howling. Each month, on the evening of the full moon, every male dinosaur who has come of age climbs to the top of the mountain and howls his mightiest howl. Why? Why what? Why do we do this? We've been doing it for a million years. Why? It is written in the sacred book of Dinosaur. Well, who wrote it there? Some sacred guy. I don't know, Dad. I just don't see it. I mean, what does this have to do with my life? Well, it says right here. Only by the howling do we defeat the dark spirit which would turn dinosaur against dinosaur and bring an end to our days on Earth. And you buy that? Hey, this book's been around a million years and you've been around, what, 15 years? Guess who wins? Uh, but it just doesn't make sense, Dad. <coughs> Today I'm just a kid, but tomorrow I climb up the mountain and yell at the moon and that makes me a grown-up? Why? Because your mother sent out 150 invitations and we got a dead rhino and 10 tons of potato salad downstairs. So tomorrow night, you are going to scamper your scaly butt up that hill and howl like a banshee. Uh, 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 ow! <laughs> you haven't been practicing. Have you been using those 8-track tapes I got you? Oh, all the time, Dad. Look, Robbie, I'm going downstairs and I don't want to hear any silence coming out of this room. All right. Howling at the Moon, Tape 1, Howling for Beginners. Let's start with this simple phrase. Okay. Ah, uh, ooh. Uh, ah, uh, ooh. Very good. Thanks. <clears throat> now try again with more expression. Very good. Well, we can't broil it. Four ninety-five a ton, and it isn't even disemboweled yet. I'm not cleaning this. What do you think, Mom? Twenty-eight hours at three fifty. Are you dead? <laughs> Hello. In my day, it was a solemn occasion. We didn't have all this fanfare and rhinoceros. Mr. and Mrs. Earl Sinclair. And baby! Cordially invite you to join them. And baby!